And Deborah Pata is in Johannesburg, South Africa with more. Deborah, I want to ask you, what's next for Amina now that she's been freed from Boko Haram? Well, the first thing today is that she was reunited with her mother. You can imagine that was an incredibly emotional reunion. She was taken back to Chibok village and all the villagers came out to set their eyes on what is literally the first girl to be um, found since they were stolen over two years ago. And it was a pretty emotional reunion. Her mother suffered extreme trauma since she was kidnapped and in fact tried to kill herself shortly after. Um, what we also um, know is that she's being debriefed by the Nigerian military. Military. This could be the most valuable information as to where the other Chibok girls are being held, and Amina Ali could hold those clues. And what about the man who's claiming to be her husband? Do we know anything more about him? Well, we know that he is a Boko Haram fighter. Amina Ali was given to him as a jihadi bride, but he also may be a victim. This is an unconfirmed report, but we understand that he is a Nigerian who lived in a nearby village, and he too was taken hostage by Boko Haram and forced to become a fighter for them. They had a child, and this is a very familiar story. Amina Ali, who is now only 19, she's 17 when she was kidnapped, has a four-month-old baby girl, Sophia, and she's obviously going to have to to undergo a lot of counseling in this regard as well. It's a story we see over and over again, girls stolen, taken off, sold as jihadi brides. They're free, they come back with babies and often very sadly are stigmatized by the community as spoiled goods. Yeah, it's so unfortunate how that happens in the culture there and the stigma that's attached to it. We also know that a video surfaced last month showing that some of these Chibak girls may still be alive. Have authorities come any closer to finding them? Yes, two years after these girls were stolen, that proof of life video emerged. And no, the government has not come any closer to finding them. The Nigerian military has not come any closer to find them. That video was an embarrassment because all it did was serve as a reminder of their failure to really resolve the situation in any way possible. And now what you see happening is the Nigerian military try to claim responsibility for finding young Amina Ali today. But in fact, they did not find her. It was a local defense task group from Chibok, and they happened to stumble over her in the woods. She was collecting firewood and was there with her four-month-old baby. And so many people have wondered why there hasn't been more of an effort to find these girls. We know that Boko Haram is believed to be keeping the missing girls inside the Sambisa forest, their stronghold. But what is really preventing them, Deborah, preventing officials from conducting a more direct rescue attempt and going deep into that forest to get them? Well, you know, that's a very good question and one a lot of people are asking. There have been a lot of raised eyebrows over the failure of the government and the military to really do anything significant to rescue these girls. They claim that the forest is too dense. They worried that, that if they launched a full-scale attack, Boko Haram would maybe just kill the girls or that they would inadvertently shoot them in the, the fire um, that would break out. But at the same time, they really haven't done much to try and rescue them in any way at all. It's been over two years. When Good Luck Jonathan was president, it took him a year before he even went to Chibok to visit um, the families of the kidnapped girls and the new president Buhari seems to be having his hands tied in this regard as well. He pledged in his campaign that he would find the Chibok girls. One girl in over two years. That's a poor show. One girl in over two years. It's so disheartening, Deborah. Our Deborah Pata in Johannesburg, South Africa. Deborah, thank you so much.